Hello everyone and welcome, it's Lainey. So I wanted to put together a few beauty products that I use um, a lot basically. Uh, some of them I use every day. I um, stopped wearing makeup and things for a long time, stopped bothering with any of that and since I sort of got back into it I've had to sort of re sort of look at new things again and find things that work for me. I do have very sensitive skin, especially on my face, and so I find it hard to find things that actually work without bringing us out into, into sores or causing burning or something like that. Obviously, because I'm stuck in bed quite a lot, if I do, you know, put makeup on like today, um, being able to take that off, you know, I can't just go and wash my face kind of thing. And so the first product I'm going to show you, uh, which is what my daughter used, so then I just copied of her and it, it, it was it did work with my face. It doesn't um, stain or cause any issues. And because um, I, I basically it's uh, Garnier's uh, micellar water. And as I said, because I can't just sort of go up and wash my face, uh, this is really good because you don't need to rinse it off. Um, so I'm able to just sort of clean the makeup off my face uh, using this. And um, yeah, it, it it's so much easier and it doesn't cause any irritation. It leaves my skin feeling really fresh afterwards. Um, uh, and it's not very expensive either. Uh, I mean, this is just the travel size, um, but I think you can get it relatively cheap in the likes of uh, the pound shop and B&M and things. So, yeah, it's the first thing. The second thing I'm going to show you is this. <laughs> just blocked myself out. This has been a game changer for me. I uh, struggled with really bad dry skin on my face especially and tried all sorts of different creams from different brands and nothing seemed to help but this has made all the world a difference not only does not only does it make a difference in just in how my skin's felt it's never looked as good as it looks now it is um, when you put it on you feel really refreshed after because it's so it just sort of sinks into your skin it's really nice it doesn't leave any greasy residue it doesn't like make you um, look oily or anything like that it just soaks straight into your skin and it's really good um, this is just the Aveeno daily moisturizer body lotion I do use it on my face um, I'm not sure if you're meant to, <laughs> but I do, and it seems to work for me. Um, I tend to only keep it for my face, actually. Um, this is a 200ml bottle, and I got it in B&M. It was 3 99 You can buy it in other places. I know Tesco sell it, but they charge about £7 out for a smaller tube. I think it's 100 mils in theirs, so it's worth, you know, going to... And I'm trying this, if you, especially if you really struggle with sensitive skin or very dry skin. Uh, this is really good, and it's not, you know, chemical wise, it's it's really good. It's made from oatmeal, and uh, it's it's really helped with me massively. So, yeah, if you struggle, try it. <laughs> it's definitely worth trying. Um, I do sometimes use that on my body as well, but I tend to go back to this which is dove I love the smell of dove I love the smell of dove and I love how it feels so I tend to use this on my body I also use it as a body wash as well so like I use well not this one obviously this is the body lotion but I do buy the body washes and there's not been a smell from dove that I don't like um, I never have any issue with it in terms of making a sore or dry or anything like that so I use this on the rest of us and it really helps. Um, and yeah, I've, I've used Dove for quite a few years um, now, so 
I would, I'm sure a lot of people do. It's a well-known brand, you know, but it's one of the things that I always get. I always get dog. Um, well, all these things are things that I'm, I, I will continue to buy. Um, so the other two makeup products, um, one of them I'm hoping I can still buy when it runs out, or at least a version of. I should have really put my glasses on for this because I can't see. <laughs> no, I can't see. <laughs> Looks like the tiniest writing on the end of the... Hold on while I put my glasses on. I know I'm back with the sexy specs. It's good, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I really don't think that I see glasses. I just, it's not something <laughs> I think I should wear. Although I need them for my eyes because I'm now very short sighted. An age thing, obviously. But yeah, and these are really cool, aren't they? Like brown and pink. <laughs> But anyway, it'll enable us to see the end of this. So that's the main thing. Right. Yeah. So the, the colour of this is rose. I'm going to take these off. Um, so yeah. So basically, this is from um, the autograph range in Marks and Spencers. And I am actually wearing it. And I love it. It's um, a mirror shine uh, lip lacquer. Um, and it's like I said in the colour rose and I will definitely get some more of this because I really love the colour um, and it feels nice on your lips you know it's not one of those that dry it I know it's very in to wear matte but I don't like the feeling that matte gives us um, I feel like I constantly need a drink because my lips are so dry you know so yeah I would definitely get this again um, and it's the only colour that I've found I mean, I've bought since I've started wearing makeup again I've bought lip, loads of different lipsticks and tried different ones and different uh, glosses and things like that but none of them have been like as nice as this none of them have been as I look I mean I not only like the colour but uh, in terms of the feel and stuff so yeah and definitely get that again so it's uh, on my list of, I guess this is kind of a list of five things that I can't do without, given the fact that I've tried so many <laughs> of them all, really. So the last thing um, is basically a Lasting Perfection Concealer. And this is by um, Collection. Um, again it was my daughter's advice that told us to get this I have tried other ones I have had Boots' own brand um, I think it's 17 and I've forgotten the other brand that I've tried um, and they just didn't in fact one of them well, in fact I've tried three different other, three, other, three other ones and one of them made all underneath my eye red and sort of stinging um, but this has been great I've got it in the lemon and it's for because I have really bad dark circles so it's mainly for that but I do use it in other parts of my face as well um, and I, it just makes a total difference to how you know to the set to the dark especially to the dark circles because uh, and in the inner corner of my eye is the worst but yeah it's made a massive difference and I think these are this is about uh, 4.99 I'm sure the lipstick I got in a sale and it was something like 164 and um, so I'm guessing it may have been a um, like end of line thing hopefully it isn't but I'll I'll you know have a look <laughs> or even if it is then maybe I could get a different one in this autograph brand that would still work just as well um, that is a similar colour fingers crossed anyway I forgot about that but yeah I did I bought this in their sale and it was 164 um, but yeah um, oh and the Dove is usually about two or three pound God, I'm not good at this bit I'm <laughs> trying to remember what to see in each one um, I, 
believe this was four ninety five, and I know she got it from Superdrug. Um, like I said, it's what she used, and she mentioned to to try it. So I have, and it is, and it has been the best out of all of the ones that I've tried. So I would also rebuy this again. So that's my five things. Um, I would have done some more, but some of them I wasn't sure about that. Like I would rebuy because I, I kind of thought, oh, well, maybe if there was something that come up, you know, when something's good, but there's like a certain element of it that you think it could improve on. So you think, oh, well, you know, if you, you would continue to try others. Whereas like with those that I've showed you, I wouldn't need to go and try any others because I feel like they're are the best that I've come across. That's not necessarily to say, I suppose, that in the longer term that will always be the case. But um, right now, these are like my five beauty favourites, I guess. Um, anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed that. If you'd like to see more of these type of things, then please let me know. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and do some sort of dance. Um, break dance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do break dance. Um, catch you next time. Bye.